What's up, guys? So, Cyrus can't keep his mouth shut. He wants to give the prosecution everything they need to know. So, he made a video again. So let's check it out and see what he has to say. What up, y'all? Um, I know I haven't posted on here in quite some time due to obvious reasons, but I'm here to clear the air about a few things and a lot of questions that people have had. And I'm also here to air out what I truly think and what I feel and where I want things to go. People are always asking me, you know, am I ever going to come back to YouTube? Am I ever going to come back to the internet and, you know, do my music and, you know, help people out? And the answer to that is most definitely. I definitely do plan to do that, but right now is not the time. Dude, this whole thing is because you're supposed to leave the internet forever. That's the only way this is going to stop. Why are you still planning to come back? Jesus. And I've also been getting the question a lot lately, if I could change what happened that day, when that guy showed up, would I change it? No, I wouldn't. You want to know why? Because I did what I had to do to protect my family. I do not regret what I did. I did what I had to do to protect my family. You know, that's going to sound really good to you, played back in court in front of a judge. And in me going to jail, did that suck? Yes. But in that happening, that opened up an opportunity for me to try to help people like myself to put a stop to all this. And I'm proud of that. Yeah, it does suck that I had to go to jail just to get the help that I needed. But I wouldn't change it for anything. Because now I'm finally getting the help that I truly need to put a stop to all of this. Dude, the court is not here to help you take down the trolls. The court is here to stop you from being a maniac. And it sounds like you think like you're through all of this because you spent a night in jail, but you are so far from through this, you have no idea. And to everybody that has stuck by me through all of this craziness, like everybody that has had my back, I want to say thank you guys. I really do. I want to say thank you for having my back. You guys genuinely mean the world to me. And for those of you that are just new coming in and saying that you want to do an interview with me and this and that and the other. And for those of you that I have spoken with that are genuine, that are actually good people that mean love, I want to say thank y'all. But me doing an interview right now is not the right time. But it is the right time to make a YouTube video for everybody in the world to see everything you say to incriminate yourself. Just good plan. And I hope you guys do not take this personal. But to everybody new that's coming in, you guys are going to have to give me time to trust you. Because I have been led down a lot of bad roads. I have been lied to, tricked. You know, all kinds of stuff. So it's very hard for me to trust people right now. The only people I truly trust from the bottom of my heart are those that are close to me. And those people know who they are. Probably someone you met yesterday who was nice to you for 30 seconds and is now your best friend and your little brother. Those people know who they are and I'm grateful to them for that. So like I said, please don't take it personal, it's nothing against you guys. I know a lot of you guys do genuinely mean well and want to see me do better and believe me, I want to do better. But doing an interview, it just, it's not the right time. 
because I have stuff that I have to do first. I have a lot of people are like, you know, like, oh, focus on doing your music and stuff. And believe me, I want to. But right now, I have to focus on this court case. As much as I don't want to, I have to focus on this. Because this court case could open up a lot of doors for a lot of people. And it could get a lot of people the help they, that they need. And to shed some light on this kind of stuff that does go on. No, no, you still don't get it. The court case is because you're a psychopath who attacks someone with a bat. No one's going to sit in court and want to hear about the trolls and how Marty's been fucking mean. But I hope you bring Marty up to the judge. Fucking hope so. And that's why I am prioritizing this court case above everything else. As much as I don't want to, I have to. Like, I have to put this court case above all else. Now, whenever the court case is done, and I don't have to worry about it anymore, then, yeah, I'm, I'm more than willing to do you know, interviews and all that shit. But right now, it's just, it's not a good time. And I understand that people want to see a better side of me. They want to see a good side of me. And trust me, that day is coming. And fast. Very fast, it's coming. But right now is not the time for that. Because like I said, this court case, it's going to open a lot of doors for a lot of people to get the help that they need. Not only for myself will it help, but for others that go through the same thing. Because I want them to know that there is help out there. If they're going through this, there is help out there. And that's why I want to put this first above all else. This court case takes priority over everything. Over my music, over interviews, over everything. And I know that doesn't really make a lot of sense. You know, people are always like, you know, you should live your life. And I'm trying to do that. I am trying to live my life, but... I want to make sure that I have everything together that I need to put a stop to all this stuff that's been going on. Because what's been happening to me and my family is unfair. And it's even more unfair to those that deal with it. Even worse than what I get. Okay, it just clicked for me. Sally sat you down and told you this court case is important, you need to pay attention to this and not pay attention to the trolls. And in your little fucking peanut head, you go, oh, well the first thing I gotta do is get online and make a YouTube video where I tell everybody I need to focus on this court case and not focus on the trolls. Cause you're a goddamn idiot. So I do hope that you guys understand why I'm not gonna be able to do any interviews for a while. It's not that I don't want to, because I would love to, but I want to do the interviews at a time where I'm not, you know, preoccupied and, you know, having to focus on, you know, such a huge thing. I hope you guys understand that. Because like I said, I want this court case to be the thing that opens doors for people to get the help that they need with stuff like this. Because no one deserves to go through what I've been through. No one. Which is why I want to make this court case a door opener for other people to get bullied and get harassed and get put in the same situation. 
But with that being said, again, for all you guys that do want to do interviews, I do hope that you don't take it personal. I really do hope that you do not take it personally. Because I in no way mean it on a personal level. But this court case is very important to me. Because like I said, this court case could change so much stuff for so many people. And I want to make sure that that happens and I want to see it through. So, yeah. But don't worry. Here in the next coming weeks, I will be preparing to come back full time. I will be preparing for that. I will be doing, you know, what I need to do to prepare for gameplay videos, to prepare for, you know, song covers, you know, releasing brand new music that I've been working on that I've had on hold for the last several months. Like, all that will be coming, but first, I need to take care of this court case. Because like I said, this court case could open up a lot of doors for a lot of people and that's what I want to do is open up doors for people to help them so yeah anyways guys for all y'all that have shown love and support to me and reached out to me just know that I fucking love you guys and just know that I will be coming back very soon I'm not sure when but just know that it's going to be soon With that being said, I love you guys. Um, hope you guys had a good 4th of July. I know I did. Hope you all had a lot of fun with your friends, family, and loved ones. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys soon, man. Peace. Awesome. So you're already planning to come back before your court case has even really started. You know, you're going to go on probation and have to deal with this for a while. It's going to be awful. But we'll see how that goes. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.